Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and uh, Mercury has finally turned direct um, in the last two days and we see that now Mercury is in the sign of Taurus so it will be in the sign of Taurus till July 2nd this year uh, which essentially means the entire month of June and uh, this is a very important transit uh, because uh, Mercury has turned direct. See what happens whenever a planet turns direct. Uh, the decisions which somebody had made uh, during the retrogression, which was for the last three weeks, three, three and a half weeks, will have to be retracted now. Uh, those, reci those decisions uh, might have experienced certain uh, flaws because of which uh, they might have been forced to <coughs> or take them back, right? So therefore, now when Mercury has turned direct, uh, it is essential that we understand the flavor of this transit and try to analyze what thing, what, what, uh, what is that which uh, we could have done, uh, we would have done, uh, or we might have, or maybe we already did when Mercury was retrograde. And what are the things that we have to correct now, right? So, Mercury was uh, retrograde in the sign of Aries. <coughs> and the sign of Aries has to do with uh, new initiation, right? Um, of course, uh, any new activity can be uh, assigned to Aries. But uh, what, what it essentially means is that a person tries to change the way he or she communicates because Aries is the first sign of the Kalpurush Kundli and there are a lot of changes which happens when a planet enters Aries from the previous cycle of one year <coughs> and therefore it could happen that uh, it could have happened uh, that we, we try to uh, pursue communication in a particular way and now then it backfired uh, somebody got hurt or even uh, you, you could have seen like uh, uh, there are some decisions from the government also uh, which they have retracted uh, some some politicians or some uh, government personnel who had made some decisions in the last 15-20 uh, days and now they had to um, take it back right so so for government it's like a way of uh, communicating uh, their policies to people right and for normal people uh, it's like communicating uh, our personal policies right to people that we know so therefore now that mercury has finally <coughs> turned direct and it has entered aries uh, i mean uh, taurus from aries then uh, it becomes important uh, for us to understand what actually the sign of Taurus is. The sign of Taurus uh, represents stability and it also represents uh, our desire to accumulate, right? Uh, it, it represents a desire to hold and hoard, hoarding and holding, both of them, all right? So now, now it is very well possible that the decisions that we uh, had to detract, we st we need to stay firm on those decisions now. So, <clears throat> therefore, it's essential that we try and figure out what did we do when Mercury was retrograde and do we need to make any changes or maybe we were forced to make certain changes and now we might have the tendency to again go back and do the same mistakes which we did when Mercury was direct without proper consultation, without proper uh, scenario scenario analysis, so which, which can hurt us seriously in the long run. So therefore, um, if we feel that uh, we did something which we should have not done uh, and now we can rectify it, then we surely need to rectify it. And apart from this, uh, the Lord of Taurus, which is Venus, is also conjunct Rahu, right? So, we, I had made the video two days back for Venus-Rahu conjunction in the sign of Aries. And in that I said that whenever any planet conjoins Rahu, it's like a feeling that uh, things are either going to happen in inevitably or things are 
going to fail inevitably right it's always a binary scenario with rahu it's never somewhere in between it's always either it's done or either i'm going to fail right so therefore although mercury has turned direct but because the dispositor is with rahu and uh, 12th from taurus which is aries uh, therefore uh, we could still have these lingering doubts inside us right <clears throat> but uh, it is very much possible uh, because sun is also with mercury therefore it's uh, quite possible that we we have necessarily made the right decision not necessarily always but by retracting we made a good decision so now it is our duty that we to stick to it because irrespective of um, either it was a right or wrong decision we cannot go back to what we did right because we faced some serious consequences because and then we had to retract it so therefore if you look at the horoscope now so uh, around uh, jupiter mars they are also in pisces right so they can give us this feeling that we need to trust uh, the universe trust god trust higher powers and <clears throat> uh, venus and rahu being in the sign of aries can give us this uh, push to initiate certain things <clears throat> but with a lot of confusion and a lot of or other lack of deliberation right so therefore now it could be a good time for us to uh, trust god trust the higher powers and trust the fact that um, we did a mistake Tra- acknowledge the fact that we committed blunders and therefore learn the lesson and try not to do it again in the future right so that is something which is very important because otherwise every 3 4 months mercury goes retrograde and every time uh, we <coughs> sorry every time we commit certain blunders which we regret later right <coughs> so that is why it is advisable when mercury is retrograde not to make any major decisions of life right because no why do they say that because it is it's quite possible that when mercury is retrograde we think less basically we act impulsively right <coughs> so when we act impulsively then we regret later so now once that we have uh, figured out what went wrong and we are on the path of course correction we have now figured out our compass now it is the time <coughs> that we stick to it and because of ketu's presence in libra um and saturn's presence in aquarius it could still give us a feeling that maybe i course corrected also without seeing the facts uh, you could get this feeling because whenever air signs are involved we kind of tend to think too much on the other side right now which is not bad but uh, can leave us confused sometimes right so saturn is itself a, a vayu tattva planet right uh, saturn and rahu and saturn is in another vayu rashi which is aquarius airy sign and ketu is a agni tattva planet but he is in libra right uh, so <clears throat> you could have this tendency to fall back uh, and again go back to certain things that uh, you did in the first place but it is advisable not to do it because if you do it then saturn aspects venus and rahu you will again feel as if uh, you made a mistake so therefore now even if you go back to something please make sure that it is something which you have done after proper deliberation right so consult your seniors your parents relatives friends or colleagues or your any anybody or your shiksha guru or your uh, family astrologer and uh, if you feel the need uh, to take some time and reflect on it then please do it right um, you have already made a mistake so do not make a mistake again right so that could uh, leave you regretting uh, later on right so therefore it is important that you understand that this transit uh, in taurus although taurus is the sign of stability but because of venus rahu conjunction and saturn ketu's uh, position uh, 
it could still give you a feeling that you did not make the right decision and you should think of the other side right which is again not wrong it's always good to ponder on all the sides but understand that eventually you have to make a decision so best is to stick to it all right and of course for specifics it will depend on your horoscope and your uh, dashas and uh, your mercury's placement in the original birth chart all right so if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and thank you for watching this video and uh, if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you to make the right decision thank you